um, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a sun flare in your images. Um, it's one of those things that seems to be very popular right now and I'm really getting into it and I really like it. So yeah, I thought that I should, you know, demonstrate how I do it. So the first thing you want to do is create a blank layer by clicking this uh, page, I guess, right here. And then you select B on your keyboard for your brush tool. And now you want to double click your foreground color. So we want to choose like a burnt orange. So I'm already in the orange range right here. Let me take it up a little bit more. I'm going to drag, click over here in the corner where the darkest orange is. And I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to use my right bracket, bracket tool to expand my brush. And I'm just going to click wherever. And I'm going to go back to my foreground color. And I'm going to actually move over a little bit. It's still in the same color range. You're just moving over to the left side to get a lighter orange. Click OK. Now I'm going to make my brush a tad bit smaller with my left bracket key than I did before. Now I'm going to do the same thing one more time. Click my foreground color, move over to the left, click OK. Make the brush smaller with your left bracket key, and then click. Let me make it more centered. There we go. <laughs> okay, so now you want to use your move tool and drag it up to where you please. I personally like to try to put my light source where I see that the light is hitting my subject. So my subject's head is getting hit by the light from the um, left side. So I'm going to put it in the left corner. And I'm going to expand it a little bit. Expand. I'm just going to keep expanding until I'm satisfied and drag it up. I think that's pretty good for me. So now you want to click the check mark at the top of your screen. And I'm going to change my blending mode to, let's see how screen is. Yeah, I really like screen. I'm going to select screen. I'm going to lower my opacity. I'm going to lower it down to about 75. Now, not everyone lowers their opacity. Um, some do more than others. Uh, but it's all up to you. So I think 75 is good. I think I'm going to take it down a tad bit more. And yeah, that looks pretty decent. Oops. Right click your background and flatten your chin. And that's all there is to it. So um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I would love to hear your experience down below in the comments. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.